what to look like here. Do, 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 do. Not even a bad trip. Thornbridge That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator, hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Sounds good. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carla. Yeah. Uh, the pistol here because I know it might be searched. Over quick, sir. Just remain calm. All clear. Move on, sir. Ah, you must be Mr. Whitmer. Madam Carlyle has asked me to be of assistance to you. I trust you've had a good look around. Are you ready to see the crime scene now? I don't like dancing. Yes, I am. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madam Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked. Mm. Alright. Well, I already know about a good chunk of the evidence, but a lot of people have told me to actually start investigating. The dead the body of Zachary Carlyle, Alexa's little brother. I wonder what happened to him, 47. Because I was missing a piece of evidence. Just in about a locked there. room murder mystery, 47. Oh, I, I trust you'll point. get to the bottom of this. Right. Zachary's so. suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Um, right, so how many more clues do I need in here? Right, two more. Um, oh yeah. Get a... Where is it? There it is. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could exp uh, explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. 
A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. I'll talk to the butler in one second, let me just... Do -do -do. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died that around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. Sure about that. Maybe and Madame Carlyle sure. and her security oh, didn't arrive well, until this morning. Twice. That leaves Gotta keep Madame's that family clean. and myself I just as the only persons here I when he died. I think I lost a button for and my cuff yesterday, probably no, at the graveyard. I do not have an Did alibi. Puff down I was alone in my office button, at the time That's of death. Here is the material that I prepared. What color? Why? It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Can't Hopefully go without my button. I'll help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Right. This is very useful information, forty-seven. Right. So. So how does one solve a murder mystery, forty-seven? Motive, means, and opportunity. I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Okay. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an so, Mr. Fernsby, I have all three of three. Oh. Accident. Painkiller. And 47. Lethal. The handwriting nothing. doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? I have enough Mr. Evidence. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Right. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? Now, this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Alright, so there's nothing else I can really pick up. An old cane. Why is this evidence? Oh, it's the same as the other one. No, it's not a key trap, but. Um, a dump spot. Um, anything like handwriting ish? No, no. Mm, these flowers? Nope. Um, no, no, no. What, what do the shoes have to do with anything? 
Here's some full pass found in Anna's realm. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Nope. Here we go. Uh. Oh, anyway. Where's that cane going? There it is. I want that back. Where is all the other people's rooms? Stop pacing! God's sake, Emma! Why don't we get any kind of explanation? The cane opens that. Well then. That makes things interesting. That is Alexa Carlyle, unofficial leader of the Provenance Partners, and last one to be alive. That is the door to Rebecca's room. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Another secret room, eh? Well, doesn't seem to be anything in there. Check the boats? No. Anything else I can check in here? No. I have one or two clues. Come on. Um, but oh, that's not the same fireplace. Really. Right. So who's room am I missing? I really want to push you over the edge. Um, How tall are you? You could be a model. Right. I'm oh, serious. I have a friend who's a model. She says that's the sweet, sweet lad. You should come and stay at my place in London. We can have a come over. Give you some tips. I'm quite happy here, thanks. Patrick Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Give us some privacy, would you? Don't tell Mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God Daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married Mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreeding so customary in these circles. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary tops himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Alright. No. Oh, 
Uh, where is this last room? Stop. That game, right? Right. Um. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Uh, no. uh, all right. So it's down the hall. On the other side is sick. Everything. The back is wrong. Maybe exactly the same. It's just quite weird. I'll just talk to talk to everyone. Yep. Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He never admitted, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting, and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stack's head around half past eight. Can you tell me about Zach's <coughs> behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by Mother's supposed death. You were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, Mother and the staff were all the company he had. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And the mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. I can't breathe. Excuse me. Alright. Um, I have all these secret ones. I know he's seen at least two of I can't fucking remember. Um, but he was such a gentleman. He gave me his coat and all. Rosie, oh. uh, you Rosie. need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. Oh, you mean like Chris? Uh, can I help you? You're kind of inside my personal space. Inside. Is everything ready for tomorrow? Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm Ooh. in trouble, aren't I? I. I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe. Like a real princess. Trying to busy me bollocks. Answer my questions. Alright. So, he couldn't have done it. He has... I can frame him for you. Uh, she could have done it. Um, I have not to prove him. Uh, I haven't spoken to him. But now, he just ignores her. Like, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's uh, what he is. Uh, you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. Hey, we enjoy our video games. Don't shame us for that. Uh, a minute. And that solicitor upstairs. Why do you think he's here? I think solicitors are mother's favorite kind of people. Can't remember ever having a family of it. Emma Carlyle, you're invading can you tell my personal me where you space were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, 
I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Anything Gregory else Nola, you want to know? Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Well, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want? Tell me about Zachary. Zach? Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? Only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Is that all? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Alright. So that's... That leaves me used to. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. Uh, how many clues are in here? Just two. M maybe that's a camera thing. No? Uh, the pants? No? Ooh, the book. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 70. Nine, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. I know, friend, I already knew the majority Unless of the evidence. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. Uh, I've already seen Emma make a poison before and actually killed her. Which... Bummer. Right, where is she? Uh, Mr. Fernsby. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. No need to panic. I don't know how this meeting is gonna go, so I'm gonna do a quick save. Just curious because I know. Uh, oh yeah, I think yeah, 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 I know. I know what that is. Just keep calm. This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, 
Go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Accuse Emma. Accuse Zachary. I'm guessing just Tal actually, actually committed suicide. And accuse Mr. Fransby. Your accuse niece, Emma. Emma Carlisle, murdered your brother Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter in law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emma's mother, Jane, who was the fiancé of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. You pushed your brother off the balcony? To reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory. Get revenge and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used the poison from one of Zachary's rare plants. Found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? Oh, I could just ask for the case files. Ooh. I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. I expected you might show up. But to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I, I will give you the file really on Edwards. Out. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. Oh, you want me to kill her? Oh, I hell yeah. I'd like to see her dead. I'm definitely up for that. No? What a shame. Ah. I'll have to see to it some other way then. Hello, sir. The file you want is in the safe. God, I hope you get Edwards and make him hurt. I need some privacy. Thank you. Please stay back. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. You know, you pushed your brother off the balcony. Why not? It'd be ironic if I don't it to you. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Uh, I'm going to do another save and I'm going to go back and figure out what happens if, if I play the butler. Good today, sir. 
Alright, good. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. So, Mr. Now, Whitmer, you go claim your reward. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Mr. Fernsby. The butler, Mr. Fernsby, killed Zachary. Fernsby? Oh, you've got that wrong. He would never do such a thing. He is the most loyal man I have ever met. I found pills in his office that matches the poison that killed your brother. Furthermore, I found Zachary's notebook, half burned, in Mr. Fernsby's fireplace. It showed that Zachary intended to publish a written confession to a murder the two of you committed nearly 50 years ago. The murder of your older brother, Montgomery. That's outrageous. We did no such thing. No need to feign innocence. I know a killer when I see one, and my discretion is assured. The papers also described how Mr. Fernsby helped you stage the murder of Montgomery as an accident. I believe he killed Zachary not to be exposed as an accomplice to murder. Sweet Fernsby. Hmm. You are wrong, Mr. Whitmer. He did not do it to protect himself. He did it to protect the Carlisle legacy. Mr. Fernsby, like myself, understands that sacrifices must be made to secure stability and prosperity. Mr. Whitmer, I'd appreciate it if your findings never leave this room. You're gonna let him live? I understand Fernsby's actions, and there is no need for them to have more consequences than they already have. Fernsby was very fond of Zachary, and I am sure his decision will haunt him to the day he dies. About your reward, have you considered an amount? I'll send you an invoice. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. I trust you'll see yourself out. I need some privacy. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not so happy about that ending. Like. Um... Hmm. Hold up. I wonder if it's still there. I found this last time I was going around this map, but I wonder if it's still there. Uh, yep. Can I get an angle? Oh, you bitch. Actually, well, fuck. That's Madam Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the fuck on Arthur Edwards. Some sort of situation. Let's try to Next. <laughs> hey. I prefer the other ending.
that I could just scale down, but clearly not. Looking good, man. Looking good. Look, I have a lot better than the dead woman at the bottom of the fucking stairs. Where did our buddy land? Oh, right there. Alright. <coughs> and if my memory is correct, Pokey. I've played through this mission so many goddamn times at this point. I still need to leave by the motorbike. Kill it with piano wire. And I have to pacify the three sons. When well, one is playing piano, one is playing pool, one's reading the newspaper. Right. Thirty two of eighty five. Forty percent could be on the death of the family. Uh, Twelve to twenty uh allocation master. Okay. Replay mission. Uh, I think I'm going to try electrocute her when she's on the chair during the photo. I was meant to do it the last time, I just couldn't find a screwdriver. Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's well, home for countless it. generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult. Right. Um, I don't need to be a detective this time, so I'm not going to kill him. I don't think I'll be able to do this mission without killing anybody. Or without getting spotted, but I'll give it a shot. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. I knew he was going to turn around. Alright, 
Okay, so I need a crowbar. That's a sword. That's not gonna do me much good. Oh, right, yeah, I don't have my lockpick yet. Too many people in there. Alright, well I got the fuse out need for the pitcher. You're not playing Ooh. All right, I need to wait until he starts playing piano. Who's Cassidy? Oh, hang up. Not supposed to do this. Sorry. Bye. Who is Cassidy? Never mentioned her during the investigations. Ah, oh, you're having a drink. Come on, sit down and play the piano again. I just need to knock you out. I'm not gonna kill you. If you don't sit down and play that fucking piano, I may have to kill you. For irritating me. Good boy. The only person you spot the body is the guy I'm dragging at the moment. Wait, what? Bad place to be. Hey, you. Uh, All right. Excuse me, you really shouldn't be here. Jesus! No, no, stop that! Someone, please. Have you lost it? Help me! You could... I don't... Uh, what the hell? That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. 
Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Alright, no need to wait. I thought I could disguise myself as you, but I don't think I can. You want to check on the undertaker in charge of the funeral? I got word he's upset with Madame Carmel. I did, sir. It all checked out. Excuse me, miss. 
I just need to clear out everyone from the top floor. I don't want to kill anyone. I don't think I have killed anyone just yet. Hello, this is Cassandra Cox, Edward's ex-wife. I don't know what's going on at your house, but Edward is losing it again. He seems to believe that Alexa has come back from the dead, and that he has like to Sandra, write the Cassidy. eulogy for some make-believe so funeral event. I still have it. the restraining order on him, so whoever gets this message now that Alexa is dead, better get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than <laughs> Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Don't wake him up. Son of a bitch. What was that? Right. So I have one guard that will spot me. And she's put herself in a position where I can't kill her. Without having to kill Claire, all them. You're safe. How did you allow this to happen in the first Do I have... I really don't. I know P I'd block us off as I'm gonna knock someone out. So, if she leaves and takes two guards where I can hit one with the soap, knock the other one out, and then just punch the other one. And that should have both them out. I'll throw the bodies in here. Is she coming out here? No. I'm gonna try to flick a coin and see if that works. They will kill someone. Alright, I'm just going to drop your gun over here so no one sees it. Um, yep, you come with me. Wrong button. Let go of them immediately. Cross. Help. 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 Look, what are you doing? You heard it? I didn't want to. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking, I need them to wake up back up anyway. Actually, my chance. Can I, one of my challenges just be to like to drown her? Because I probably just took a body.
charges. Yeah, driver. Yeah, I was trying to get down. Because I'd be able to end up ledge cure. That one won't be too difficult. Um, drop chandelier on her. She's in her office enough. That'd be easy enough. Um, with sniper rifle from the roof of the monastery. I haven't even been to the monastery, really, to be honest. And I never in, in her private room. I suppose I could just do that one. I could just drag the body in there. Nope. Okay, She's not okay. Go wake her up. Talk. What do you care about then? That's the fuck away, that's a that's kill. Great. Alright, I, I didn't want to kill anyone. I suppose I had to retry it anyway. The one person I had to kill with the piano wire I didn't. Fiber wire. Why do I keep calling it piano wire? Alright, i choke you out. Let's attempt this differently this time. Okay. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. <coughs> I don't know where the file is. Peculiar oh. icons above the safe. Um, I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. One, seven, Maybe have a look nine, around the office, five. forty-seven. No. Uh. One, nine, seven, five. The day she was born. Third day, you know. Oh my God. Uh, Mission right. complete. Well done, forty-seven. Fuck at the stairs. There we go. an idea. Hmm. You go over there. Ah, shit. Trying to figure out what this thing is, but... <coughs> no, not 
key to Rebecca's room. No, no, yes, this. Still kind of London branch of That up. So, what am I missing for this? The key. Who would have a key for this? Hmm. Uh, is this the monastery? <coughs> Did you have the key? Or ski is pretty dead. I think I killed anyone. No, maybe I did. Now I don't understand. How do I drown her? I'm guessing the fountain. Just push her into it. No, no, no. What's that key bit? And I still need to figure out how to get leave on the motorcycle. Yep, replay mission. I'll just uh, reload and I'll save. I'll reload to save Windows uh, Detective. Thornbridge uh, Manor. I'll just drop the chandelier on the her Carlisle head. Why am I not allowed to leave on the motorcycle? Though? car batteries. Maybe that's what I need. Hmm. The car battery that's down in the office. Not the, like the utilities office I guess. I'll drop the chandelier on her head anyway. Uh, where is she? Right. Help me. Now run at the office. Help.
spineless shit. Run at the oh office. God. That's no, no. It's the wrong room. I don't see him. Lift fire. Get visual in his gate. Cool. I got him. Right there. I'm not visual, but it has to be close. Six out. Stand by the leg of the bus. I didn't realize there was one behind me. Um, okay, so that's a dumb load. Um, this one. I'll present the evidence, I'll ask her for money, and then um, she'll walk out to the balcony. And when she walks back in, I'll shoot the, shoot the train, grab on her head. Is that good? Yep. Hey, by the way, parents speak. Hey, how you doing? Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, so, go Whitman, claim your reward. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Your niece, Emma Carlyle. Mer Please remain seated, Mr. Whitmer. I, I thought I could just skip the entire no. dialogue. Where were we? Your niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiancé of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory. Get revenge and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming... Bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? Money. I'll send you an invoice. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. I trust you'll see yourself out. I need some privacy. Thank you. Alright, just in case I miss, because I am not the greatest shot. Make another save. I don't have a gun. <coughs> Suppose you'll just have to do this. So. Uh. 
I just need to make sure to hit that chain. These are the maps to fit with the water movement and the general idea of where the chandelier is. Got her. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. All right. That's good. Completely normal for me to have a shotgun there. Oh wait, I never got the files. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if there might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Yeah, sure thing. I'll do that. <clears throat> Mission complete. Well done, 47. You look like you've done something you shouldn't. Am I right? Now, where was that utility room? It was near Mr. Fernsby's office. Great lass. You love her, she loves you. And now a wee one on the way. Hmm. <coughs> that was around here somewhere. There it is. Garbage. I don't know why it's not giving me a motorcycle as an option. Oh wait, yeah it is. Oh yeah, when I said I didn't think I killed that one, I forgot about these guys. 47. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! I used the motorcycle to get out. What am I missing about that?
Now how did I not do that? Okay. Is there any other way I have to leave without... What have I never? Obtain one of each of the Tornboy keys. I'm guessing just all the people have it. All the people that are classed as suspects. So Mr. Franz B, all the kids, uh, yada yada. Uh, Alright, so I need to find the crowbar, find some escape hatches. There are two areas I've never been to. And I don't know what they are. Apparently I didn't pacify these two, even though I definitely did. Take a picture of that one snake, this is Zachary's bed. I'm guessing I have to convince her that he actually committed suicide for that one. All the classic ones which... Alright. Alright. So, we're gonna replan mission. Location. What can I do? So wait, oh, the monastery is like the greenhouse. So, all right. So I have to. S uh, I'll start there because I want do want a sniper. Uh, all right. I'll actually put this at the greenhouse because. It'll make my life easier. Uh, and I need to take a quick piss, so I'll just start this up while I go. My go, timing go. is impeccable.
that screwed up, then you would be able to take a man of Carlisle and repair last week. But the president has been A safe in Madame Carlyle's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. But he, he was upset believing his sister was dead. I'd say worried about how things would be handled with Gregory and Emma taking over. I said they let him stay here, but Edwards is sure that Emma was going out. Where's Alright, come here, come here. Hey, you are trespassing. Oh, come on. Just restart it. Alright, this can't be the monastery because there's no way I can get onto the roof. A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Yeah, we don't care about that file though. Hey? Oh, what? I need to know if you signed some sort of non-disclosure agreement. 
I mean, how does Madame Carlyle make absolutely sure you and all the Franks don't go running your mouths off at the local pub tonight? <laughs> no fun crosses, Madame Carlyle. You can be sure of that. What else needs to be done? Uh, I need to get, make my way over there. <coughs> Finally, there is a glance. Use some assist. Somebody. Oh, we both heard that cracking. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Move to Tango's last I known position. I die in the autumn. I love autumn funerals. Madam Carlyle is Target dead, so there is no funeral. Not if you ask me. Well, I huh? Okay, he's dead. Don't go around, sucker man. No. I am gonna have to reload. I just want to take a look around and see if I can find a ladder. There's just no way this is a monastery. Why don't I just use the map like a normal human being? So that's graveyard. It's the garden, greenhouse. What? what is it? There is no monastery. Trophy room. I'm gonna quickly Google where the monastery is, because I don't fucking know. Um. That says mansion. Oh, the roof of the mansion. Right. So I've been looking at this entirely wrong. Then my question is, where's the sniper? So I have to first figure out how to climb up to the roof and find a sniper. 
and then also get her in a position where I actually can't slip because she's going to be leaving the household at all. I am also trying, if I'm capable, of not killing anyone else and not changing my clothes. I do also need to find a crowbar for the secret hatches. Yeah, I passed by this fuse box before and it really annoys me that I can't do that with it. That is the ladder that I need to do. Uh, it's a yeah, clearly I can't just shoot it. How do you get up there? Alright, so he performed that, band.
sure there's a simple answer. But for the life of me, I can't figure it out. How do I get to the roof? I swear to God, if that old balcony were the old, that old balcony bearish, if they class that as the roof, I'll be very upset. There's no reason probably to get spot there, so I'm just on a fucking reload. I haven't really achieved anything anyway. Propane flat. <gasps> the fire. Yeah, maybe this is the roof, and this is where we met the sniper from. But that just begs the question: Where in the fuck is the sniper? Keep scared on the cross. Got real soul. Yep. Both on here. Yep. Yeah. Impressive. We'll work. Can I go this way at least? No. Hmm. Where's my target? Stand over our own grave. I've already buried her in there, so I don't need to do that anyway. Where did I find that propane flask before? Uh, where would you hide a sniper at? That has to be, that's the tallest point, so I'm guessing that has to be it. Well, it can't be because there's an uh, escape ladder still. Because I don't want to kill this guy. Alright, I 
not gonna exactly sneak attack him. Faster. Go to the other side. Don't pay attention to me. No, I can't scale that either. Where would you keep a sniper? Down the secret room. I would have spotted that already. Mm. Uh, you're just ever so slightly in my way. No way I can walk down the stairs without one of them spawn me. I think I can't even stand on the stairs. Coin toss! Perfect. Alright. Uh, she's doing the family gathering. Like even if I do find these uh in my way to the roof for the secret passages, I don't actually have a crowbar I can break them. Mary is so upset. But she's never seen a dead body before. Life can be tough sometimes. And that detective asked to come here. Madame Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why else ask him to sneak around? I feel weak in my knees from all the tension here. We'll all need a vacation when this is over. I don't give a fuck about your vacation, but I do care about this crowbar. I can't believe dropping down. J plus T. Okay. Alright, that is not ready under. What the fuck did I just find? Receive for staff rep repairs. Ah. 
That's just confirming that there's a safe in our office. Task. She scolded Mary for not making the bed the way she preferred it. It's so unfair. We just discovered that is their body and it's all to come. What's in the locker? Yeah, I don't care about this guys. Mr. Farnsby. Alright, the problem with this flask is that I can't just stick it in my pocket like everything else. So I actually have to go up the stairs with this thing. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. I don't end up detecting. Gold case. This guy's gotta go away. No time, like. Shotgun, no. Draw shotguns. Yeah, they're all shotguns. Damn it. I need a sniper. Rifle. Running out coins here. Huh? Ah. <sighs> Shit. Alright, so the end of them stairs is a little harder than I thought. 
don't know what the best chance is. Flicking a coin behind them, making them turn around, it's a start. A fucking butler had to come around as well. And I'm starting to run short on coins. Because I know once I throw them, I can't get them back off. Fuck off. Trying not to have unconscious bodies everywhere, so I'm gonna let you walk. have to take this thing up the stairs because I can't put it in my pocket so I can't climb any of the pipes. How did you get there? Could not have been any closer. Nope, oh, wrong room. This one. Booyah. Alright. Now, time to figure out what the fuck does this propane thing actually do? I'm assuming it falls down into the fireplace. So, I was gonna test this before I can actually put it into action. Did I blow up? I'm kind of upset that I didn't get to see it. Definitely a way to kill her, though. There's shotguns everywhere, but I can't find a fucking sniper rifle. I'll then leave this propane tank next to it, just so it's ready if I need it. I can't jump out any of these windows. I can't scale across either side. People are still alive around here, so I can't just sprint around. scale across that either. At least I don't think I can. No, I can't. So how do I do it? How 
How do I get to the roof? Alright, so I know it's not there. Jazz, yeah, I'm racking my brain about this a lot. Um, uh, I suppose I'll come back to that m fucking mystery uh, for a moment. I think I'll go down and I'll electrocute her. Because all I need for that is a screwdriver and then I have everything I believe. I already have the fuse, don't I? No, I don't. Uh, fuse is in the same room I found the car battery. Wait, what? Uh. Oh, oh wait, there's actually another fuse right down there. I'm fucked. Uh, no, 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 no. Weird. How did that happen? <laughs> well, that shouldn't have worked. Uh, I can't just drop down. Uh, nope. Alright, so I can't go that way. Fucking damn him and servers. Go, go, go. Go, go. What the fuck was that pipe I used to get up here? Oh, there it is. I get this point, it would have been fucking quicker just for me to run down the stairs. Have I ever been in this room?
Didn't realize there was a pipe right there. Rebecca? Yes. She's insisting that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. Of course. Right, now I need a screwdriver. Ooh, you, 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 you. So, screwdriver, where? I'm an idiot. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. The fuse is for the port. Uh, that's why you have to. I just need to find a screwdriver so we can undo the socket. Madame Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse, I'm sure the portrait would be one for the ages. Yes, I just would rather have a screwdriver before I put the fuse in. Um, I believe I have a crowbar to open that. Yes, I just need a screwdriver. Carlisle in the greenhouse. How curious. He's looking right at me. I've run around this entire garden. Okay. I've run around this entire garden and I cannot find a fucking screwdriver anywhere. A wrench. I didn't need to take that, but...
How have I not found a fucking screwdriver yet? No, 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 no. I told Kate about those texts. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked me. Said she understood the position I was in. Uh, we really didn't talk about it. What did I tell you? Sensible woman. That's tough to hear. Oh! Doubts, 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 doubts. Uh, well, it's about tea time anyway. Out. Damn, the gun thing provoked her. Shit, man. They're like really good at numbers. Thank fuck. Stop thinking about Emma all the time. Mm -hmm. Why is it so hard to find a fucking screwdriver? Yes. Where am I? Okay, so I'm at the front door, so the back is, back is out here. That this whole is area. Phineas Whitmer. I know where to go anyway. Find a gun case and it's just down the hallway. <sighs> I didn't see him. Ram right into. Do I have to play this mission enough to unlock a sniper? I don't. It, can I actually find one in the area? Yeah, she didn't look hard enough. Just so I know, for I saw a man nosing around yeah. like a little. Where is it? That's a gun cool, rack. Where is it? 
Now I know exactly where I'm going. I just need to find the best way to get there. That no. is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by hey. Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's... Right. Fuck that route. This one maid has cut me every time. Are you? Hey, you! Get out! I'm happy. Oh my mind, I have gone through a lot of worse situations. People that are meant to be security. But this one maid has eyes like a fucking hawk. Hey. That was not the cleanest, but I'll take it. Hey, this is a restricted area. Now, show me your hands. Oh, well.
Hmm? Uh, excuse me, I think you dropped something. Hmm. Cabot ever got away with that. Right, now I can execute my plan. Now... I'm going to say right... Oh, no, that's loud. No, 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 no. Save. Yes. The safe right here. No, we're in a personal way. <laughs> you could try. Rosie told me Rebecca has a really cool saying, though. It takes a damn fine man to replace no man at all. So, that's what you'll work out for you if you do try. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to imply that you're not fine. You're definitely no. fine. I mean, I, I don't fancy you or anything. You're not my type at all. <laughs> Got some strange noises here. Looking into it. Over. Ah. Sir, you are trespassing. Uh, yeah, I should have been out there already, but uh. Oh wait. The walls are saying that right there. Oh well. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Stay here and you'll be safe. Okay. Okay, just do your thing. I'm sure I left 20 quid in my locker, but when I came in this morning, it was only a fiver. No, not perceptive at all. Hmm? What are you doing right there? Like I. <laughs> Shit! Shit! 
shit. God. Please, someone help me. What a horrible place to fucking spawn me. I kind of just rushed that. Right, I'm not gonna actually attempt this again. If I just kind of keep sprinting, try and make it to the bush, I might be okay. Whoa there, buddy! You're trespassing. Sir, if you'd follow me. Good job, sir. Just keep moving. That is Phineas Whitmer, That's the good, famous sir. private we'll investigator right hired by Madame Carlyle the Small. Why am I following this guy, Dick? He's literally just gonna walk me all the way to the front gate where he's. Oh no, I didn't kill anyone at the front gate, it's fine. You can try. Rosie told me Rebecca has a really cool saying, though. It takes a damn fine man to replace no man at all. So, you've got the work to out for you if you do try. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to imply that you're not fine. You're definitely fine. Whatever. Yeah. Huh? Time for a nice cup of tea. Checking out some strange noises. Stand by. They say it. Hey. What was that? Go over there and see what that was. Yep. Lovely. That should be everything. What are you doing here? Time for a nice cup of tea. Final. All set up. Uh, will you let the family know, please? Perfect. They'll be right down. So, I don't know if I actually have everything, I have the wear explosives, I have the fuse in, and I did pour water down, but I don't know if it has to be down while the boat was being taken. Uh, the water 
is flowing. I expect you to be quick about the shoot. I have a lot to do today. Everything is set up and ready to go. I guarantee you'll never be happy with the result. Right ahead, please. Right, get in position. Let's get this over with. There's a puddle of water here. Oh, never mind. Let's just get this done, shall we? Chin up, Edward. No one wants to look that long. Idiot, Gregory. I'm fine, Philippa. Fine? You look like a nose wreck. Stop this. <laughs> oh. No. That's Madame Carlyle taken like care that. of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. I am quite satisfied with that now. Gotta be. Have you no respect for you gotta be fucking with me. Try not to get spot. How do I drown her? It's his butt. <laughs> Shouldn't have tried to just walk in. I spent the majority of this time just reloading saves. Jess, what time is it? I feel like I've been playing this for about two hours. It's three o'clock in the morning. Class. Get in position. Let's get this over with. There's a puddle of water here. Oh, never mind. Let's just get this done, shall we? Chin up, Edward. No one wants to look at that long face. Such an idiot, Gregory. I'm fine, Philippa. Fine? You look like a nose wreck. Stop 
That's Madame like Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edward. Okay. Not a quick save, and I'm just going to try to leave. I don't really understand that thing, because the uh, only reason I saved is because I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. Or maybe it is. I forgot about the file. Strange. Meh. That's weird. What are secret entrances? But I don't have the cane. I'm not letting you go that easy. Fuck. I thought I could get just get through the door and be alright, but actually wait. This one already has me in the house. I just need to get upstairs. It's taking me so fucking long. This was my plan the first time around. Hmm. I'm sure I saw something. No, I'm just tired. I still don't know how to get up there. need to get into that room. Mm 
Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Seriously hate that noise. Right now, yep. Security. I have time to go. I've already been spotted, but I haven't killed on it. Well, oh, thanks, guys. I went. For, for what? I thought I wasn't spotted, but then I remembered that I knocked out one of the security guards and he clearly seen me before I knocked him out. Two options with this. Uh, I think it's just like either side. Yeah, hey, I finally got unlocked the more more one. Yay. Hey. Uh, sniper private realm. They're the only and drowner. They're the only other three ways I have to kill her. Everything else isn't a kill. Proximity explosive duck, of course. Right. So I'm actually gonna leave this off here, but um, at the drowner. I get that when I drown her. Piano man, I hold my hair, stray shot, taste this person, yeah. Yeah, so I have to drown her and then I'll get that. Drown her, sniper, and uh, kill her in the private room. Don't know how to get her to the private room, but I'll figure that out. Um, obtain um, one of each of the uh, mana keys, yeah. Um, these are shortcuts. I don't know where they are. There are two areas that I haven't found, which I'm guessing both hold the shortcuts. I just don't know how to get to yet. Shortcuts. 
shortcuts, the key. I think that's literally all I need. Not any four. So get the key, get the two shortcuts, and discover all areas. Yeah. All right. Uh, feet. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, knock both them out while they're playing pill in the news newspaper. And I guess that one is just playing the butler. Uh, and that one I get when I tell her that it was suicide. Right. Assassinate your target and complete the mission. Do all in your suit. Okay. When you kill the target, no bodies found. Do not get compromised if you are detected by cameras. It says I just destroy the evidence. Do it all in your suit. So I have to figure out where there's a sniper in this. I think the classic challenges, I think they go across all the fucking missions. Hmm. Uh, I'm leave this here for a moment. But, uh, yeah, I just thought to get some sleep. Uh, what makes you feel hungry? I have to buy DLC for this. Maybe I will buy DLC. I don't know. Do Hitman 2. Uh, right, yeah, I just have to block the screen. 70 quid. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. See how I feel. No.